In this video, I'm going to go through my collection of white pens and give you my opinion on the different brands and let you see how they work. So this one is the Uniball Signo. And I believe this is broad. That's the tip. And it writes very nicely on white. And the second one is called Yak, or I think it's Yak. No, Y and C. <laughs> My vision's not very good. And uh, this one is the Gel Extreme. So let's see what this one looks like. I might have to press really hard on this one. I just got this one and I am not impressed. I mean, it's brand new and I just don't think that's very, it's not writing very well. And I don't know if I just need to keep writing with that one, but I'm not, um, ex I'm just not thrilled with that. The next one is the Posca pen and this one is the PC one MR and it says that it's the pin type point seven millimeters. So let's see. And this one reminds me a lot. The Uniball, the signal reminds me very much of a pen. This one reminds me very much of a marker. The tip on it is quite different. So this is the Posca and it writes nicely. And I'm gonna put the PC1MR. And this one, oops, that's R. Point, point uh, zero seven millimeter. And that one's okay. Um, the tip is just very different. And then I have another Posca. And then this one, has the bullet shape. So this one here, this one is described as pin type. Pin. And then this one is described as bullet shape. Which, and it looks like it's 0.7 millimeter as well. I don't know, it's kind of weird, right? And this one's nice. I guess it is a little thicker, a little fatter. And then I've got this Jane Davenport paint over pen. It says unicorn. I don't know if that's the color, <laughs> but it's white and it has a very chunky tip on it and it doesn't give a size, but it does say B. And then I'm going to write on this. This is, I'm not really sure. It seems like it absorbs into the paper. I'm not sure if it would do differently on a different paper. Um, this is just black sketchbook paper. I'm not thrilled with this one. And I don't know if you can see in the video, there's like little white dots that are left behind on that one. So I don't think I like that one. And then here is the Molotow, I guess is how it's pronounced. And this is a premium paint pen. Let's see what this one looks like. I've had this one a while, but I haven't used it very much. This is quite um, a fine tip as well. Kind of reminds me of the Extreme, or I mean the Posca, kind of the way it writes, more like a marker. And this one is the 127HS. Um, No, it's not bad. I mean, so far, my favorite is definitely the Uniball. And I do like the, the, the Posca, the smaller tipped one. All right, and then this is a Sharpie paint pen. Um, this one's white, it's a fine point. This is an oil-based opaque paint marker. And these are brand new, so they, and this you can see how really fat, that tip looks like it's sticking out really far, but yes, it was. You can see it's very much like a marker. Sharpie paint. And this is the fine tip. Um, 
This one's kind of blending into the paper a lot like the Jane Davenport. Not, I don't really like that one. I suppose maybe it needs to be pumped a little bit. Let's try that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So it just needed to be pumped a little. It's still kind of absorbing into the paper a bit more than I think I would like. So there's that. Yeah, and then I have another size too on the Sharpie. This one is the medium point. So let's pump this one. And this is the Sharpie paint and this is the medium tip. Not too bad. I guess depending on what you're wanting, but even I can see this is still absorbing into the paper. Now the last one I wanted to show is this Sharpie Permanent Marking Stick, Mean Streak. Now it says it's non-toxic, dries really fast, um, it's fade resistant, waterproof, and this is the extra bold tip. When you open it, oh the cap's not in there, yeah that's the cap. So it has this um, twisty thing at the bottom where it will twist it up and I've kind of worn down the tip of it. it. It's more flat than anything. But basically, it's like this. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like a, it's almost like a, I mean, it is a paint pen, paint or a marking stick. It reminds me of just a really sticky paint that's stuck in a tube. So I'm going to write this one down. And it does have a funky smell. So just be warned. Um, this is the, and I can't really write with that because it's too fat, but this is the, um, the Sharpie Mean Streak. And I don't know if it comes in other tip sizes because this is the only one I have. Um, and this one is the Extra Bold Tip, so it might. Extra Bold Tip. So in review, I think the um, the Uniball is definitely a great one to use for whether you're going to doodle or write over dark surfaces. I'm not thrilled with this YNC Extreme. In fact, like I said, I just bought that pen. And it doesn't have any way to pump it or anything. So I'm just not sure. It's just not a very good pen. I mean, it hardly writes anything. Um, the Posca pens are great. Uh, mine are a little bit on the older side, but, um, and again, they have more of a, um, a marker kind of, more of a textured feel. Um, the Jane Davenport blends in, so I'm not really thrilled. It kind of reminds me of milk. <laughs> um, the Molotow is not bad. Mine's a little bit old, but um, it has a nice tip on it. And the Sharpie paint pens, um, these were both brand new. And even with the time that we've gone through this, you can see that it's kind of blended into the paper. Not real excited about those. And then the Sharpie Mean Streak Bold, I mean, it's kind of reminds me, as I said, like it has a waxy feel to it. Um, but those are the pens that I have in my stash that I wanted to demonstrate. And I think hands down, um, the winner is the Uniball in my book. So um, the Uniball and the, and the Posca pens. So if you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me. Um, you can send me an Instagram direct message or um, just reach out and you can email me as well. All right, thanks for watching.